So this is giving us a graphical representation of the cylinder contributions yes. uh, with the histogram. Mm -hmm. Okay. So since this is a cold engine, it's uh, obviously it's running at an elevated engine RPM. Typically you'd want to do this with it completely warmed up. Yeah, right. notice how, how much it smoothed out from when, it's, from when it first started running. Yeah, well, I, I would probably contribute that to the fact that it has retarded fuel <laughs> or retarded yeah. spark. You know, trying to get the catalyst right. uh, warmed up. So yeah, quite a bit of, of uh, this, this looks like cylinder number three actually bumped up. One seems to be the uh, smoothest. So if you were to back out of this test and then come back into it, it would give you a, a reset of this. Or we could just hit the erase button. Oh, okay, there we go. And that'll reset the data. So if we were gonna end the session on this vehicle and we wanted to save everything, what are the appropriate steps to do that? All right, so we'll go back to the car with the folder mm -hmm. and we'll save the recordings. Okay. All right, so, so far, I believe all of the recordings we've made have already been saved. Okay. All right, so now we want to talk about exporting the session. Okay. So we'll go back to the previous sessions and we'll highlight the, the session we were just in. Mm -hmm. And we'll select this. And these are all of the recording groups that we took. Mm -hmm. Now, if you make a lot of recordings with a lot of PIDs, mm -hmm. The file size uh, the, will grow. The file size will be big, and it will only let you record or let you save somewhere between 10 to 12 megabytes. Okay.